Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did my first boil test on this four dog stove, the Bush Cooker LT2. This is the one that Ninja K3K has lent me to play with for a little bit. The first test I did was an alcohol test. I always like to be able to use whatever wood burning or multi-fuel stoves. I like to be able to use it with alcohol in case of rainy conditions or something. So anyway, I tried it with this using the aluminum dish that came with it. And frankly, it just didn't do too good. Uh, two cups of water starting at 58 degrees only got up to 168 degrees in 3 minutes and 43 seconds with a dish full. Now at the time I thought this might have been about 3 quarters of an ounce, fluid ounce of methanol. Turns out to be it's only around a half of an ounce. Now this dish that they gave is act looks like it's actually the top to a tin. Now this is a little bit smaller. This one would have been larger. It's a bit uh, shallower. But basically it's just this. And now unfortunately, this one won't fit underneath the bush cooker. Not under the two anyway, the LT2. So I have some of these dishes. I think they're ashtrays, aluminum ashtrays. And this does fit underneath the, the cooker. So that's what I want to try today is using this with one fluid ounce of methanol. Now that fits in there. I could put a couple more drops but that's one fluid ounce. <clears throat> Should have got this out before. Okay, so one fluid ounce. Now it's this dish is a little bit wider than this underneath. It'll extend out a little bit. Some of the dimensions on this are this ID, the inside diameter of this outside shell, is about 3.88 inches. The diameter of this finned area is about 2.86 inches. So you need something that'll fit there. In the case of these, the diameter is a little bit bigger, but it fits. And see how it'll fall up. It'll give me space there. Okay, so anyway, let me light this. You can see it's just a regular flame. Now in the video yesterday, I showed you looking down into the top of the stove. Let's not waste any more of this. I have two cups of alcohol setting at 58 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210 to 11, 212 at 324. Cool. So that was two cups of water this time, two cups of water starting at 58 degrees again. Just okay, and there the flames went out, let's say at 345. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so, hmm. Okay, in this test, that was two cups of water starting at 58 degrees. Room temperature is 49 degrees, humidity 43. It came to a boil in 3 minutes and 24 seconds and then ran out in 3 minutes 45 seconds. Yesterday when I was using the lid that comes with the kit this only held one, about a half of a fluid ounce of the alcohol. 
and that ran out at 343. So this burned, this dish burned faster and hotter than this did, but didn't last much longer. But at least it got the water to a boil. Not necessarily a safe boil, it didn't have that minute of extra burn time, but it got the water to boiling. Hmm. I really hope that would last a little bit longer than that. That was twice the alcohol and it just burned faster. Again, like I said yesterday, I think they're looking at the the four dog people, I think are looking at the alcohol more as a fire starter. That once you had this uh, going with the alcohol, then you put your wood in and burn it from there. Really hope that would last longer. Oh, another thing I was thinking about last night. I was trying to think of what this reminded me of. The setup. And it dawned on me. If you turn it upside down, it looks like the base of a rocket with portholes. Anyway, just a little fun there. Uh, I don't know if you saw it in the camera 2 video, but these fins were getting red hot this time. They were actually glowing. I don't know if you can see it here. See the tempering, maybe not tempering, but the uh, tarnishing of the fins from the heat. This is already cool enough to handle. That's titanium for you. Okay, so again I thank Ninja K3K for lending me his uh, Bush Cooker LT2. This is a two-man cooker, supposedly a two-man cooker. They make a smaller one and a larger one. A smaller one it would be for one person this is for two, and I think the larger one is for three. So anyway, I thank Ninja K3K for the lent, lending me his kit. I thank you for watching all my videos and commenting. I look forward to your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. Nothing was thick and thin